Ambika Prasad Khatiwara, a wildlife conservationist from Nepal, participated in an edge tools training course organized by the Zoological Society of London in 2011, where he learned about Chinese pangolins as one of the evolutionarily distinct and globally endangered edge species. He then recalled his childhood as a five-year-old walking with his father near their home. A burrow was in the ground, and he asked his father, "Who digs the soil here?" The reply was, "Salak, the Nepali name for pangolins." The childhood memory of the salak in his village excited him to design a project for pangolin conservation in 2012. After 10 years, he returned to his village for pangolin conservation with the support of an edge fellowship. Where he learned that his relatives and neighbors were involved in the hunting and illegal trade of pangolins. We organized workshops among local communities, conservation stakeholders, government authorities at the local, uh, regional, and national level. We raised public awareness, organizing community meetings, installing pangolin conservation holding boards, publishing brochures, and. Organizing school teaching programs. Now, he has been continuously working for a decade to protect pangolins. The latest support was from the National Geographic Society to implement the pangolin conservation project. This story describes how Khatiwara's efforts worked to convert his community from poaching pangolins into becoming conservationists in eastern Nepal. Deep in the heart of Nepal, two species of pangolins call this place home. the chinese and the indian pangolin chinese pangolins are found from eastern nepal to jajarkot district in western nepal while the indian pangolin is confined from the far western tarai lowlands up to the siwalik range pangolins are both habitat and food specialists and mostly feed on termites and ants sadly these fascinating creatures are at risk of extinction due to hunting and habitat destruction but conservation projects in eastern nepal have been working tirelessly for the past decade to protect these precious animals since 2012 the pangolin conservation project has been underway and has been a resounding success not only has it helped to protect pangolins but importantly it has been instrumental to converting local hunters into conservationists basudev shared how around 2009 2010 his neighbor sold pangolin scales for 4 and a half thousand nepali rupees Likewise many others in the village also killed and sold pangolin scales attracted to the money one day he found a pangolin in his farmland and killed it he boiled the scales in hot water and sold them to a person from a neighboring district however the person who brought the scales was later found out to be a pangolin trafficker who used women's cosmetic products to approach locals for pangolin scales Basudev regrets killing the pangolin and he believes he has experienced bad luck as a result of his activities with the past of hunting pangolins he now understands the importance of conserving them today basudev is proud to be a part of the pangolin conservation project and is now actively working to conserve them no longer inclined to harming pangolins he has even convinced his villagers and relatives not to do so today his community takes pleasure in seeing pangolins live together in the fields where they work and are currently doing well kumar khimding also shares his experience with pangolins they initially didn't have much information about pangolins and considered them bad luck they killed the pangolin that was digging around their house following their father's orders later they learned that there was a market for pangolin scales and in response started collecting and selling dead pangolins that the village dogs would hunt they sold four pangolin skins for 14000 nepali rupees in sal pachadi chai ya ambika sarar le yana stira yogya sarar ta ni ra salak ko sanshan garne bhanera ta samiti baneko bhanne pani sunna aayo salak garna maru na hune ra cha bhanne kuro चेतना 
he recounts how upon showing the pangolin to his father he was told that killing pangolins brought misfortune to family members and that pangolins should be released in the same place where it was found then he followed his father's advice and released the pangolin he notes that many young people in their village have died or, or been disabled due to pangolin poaching and share his belief that pangolin conservation is important presently he is involved in pangolin conservation programs in his village and encourages others to take efforts to protect these animals The president of the Pangolin Conservation Committee, Yagya Prasad Khatiwada, recalls his childhood belief that pangolins are bad luck to see. However, his view changed in 2005 when he learned that pangolin scales had high demand. In 2009, he found a dead pangolin and kept its scales, which he later sold to an illegal trader. <laughs> Mr. Khatiwada also mentioned that from a traditional and scientific point of view, his ancestors considered pangolins as unique wildlife, with these animals reflecting the intricate relationship between humans and forests. He says how old traditions were able to understand nature and learn about this special human environment nexus of coexisting and thriving between each other. To protect these species, our ancestors insisted on not disturbing or harming them. They believed that in doing so, it would bring tremendous misfortune. Since 2012, Khatiwada has led a pangolin conservation committee in his village, working to raise awareness and deter poachers. In 2012, a young man by the name of Nabin began working with his fellow youth colleagues in two villages to conserve pangolins. This was no small feat at that time, since killing pangolins was a common practice among villagers. In fact, Nabin himself had previously resorted to killing a pangolin for personal consumption. But as he learned more about the importance of conserving these incredible species, his behavior and feeling towards them began to change. <laughs> He learned that pangolins were not only important for the ecosystem, but that they were also a symbol of good luck. Killing them was considered inauspicious and often led to unpleasant consequences. With his knowledge, he began to work towards educating his fellow villagers on the importance of conserving pangolins. In the coming days, it is important to conduct programs that educate people about pangolins and their role in the ecosystem. These programs should reach out to as many including those involved in poaching pangolins. By raising awareness about the importance of pangolin conservation, we can encourage people to change their attitudes towards these peace-loving animals. Incentives should be provided to individuals that inspire other young people in the village to become involved. In this way, we can develop a conservation culture that is able to preserve pangolin populations for future generations and for a long time. According to Nepal's National Park and Wildlife Conservation Act of 1973, any person who is involved in the killing, injury, possession, transfer and trade of a protected species or its derivatives shall be punished with a fine ranging from 500,000 to 1 million Nepalese rupees or face imprisonment ranging from 5 to 15 years or both. Similarly, anyone who furnishes information about a poacher who has killed or injured a pangolin 
and leads to the offender's arrest may be rewarded with an amount of up to 25,000 rupees. Overall, conservation of pangolins is crucial and raising awareness about their significance among villagers in this district is necessary. Through better education and economic opportunities, we can inspire people to act and contribute to preserving these unique and important species.